Hi guys and welcome to SS Cooking. My name is Nibal Deng and welcome to the show. Now, before we get started, I just want to give a massive appreciation to all the subscribers. You guys just keep subscribing and it also motivates us to continue to do more. So I just want to say a special thank you to Peggy Juma, Blaze Tombe, Yinka Rowland and Alostar's John Kosoba. I hope I said all of those names correct. Uh, now, what we're going to cook today is leggy mud. I decided to give a break from the dinner recipes and uh, do some snack recipes. Leggy mud, you can have it as breakfast with my favorite uh, mint tea. You can also have it as an afternoon tea, evening tea, or even when friends come around, you can just have it as a snack while you're catching up with new things, I guess. So, um, without further ado, I think let's get started. Okay guys, so here we have half a kilo of uh, flour, plain flour. If you have, if you brought like one kilo of flour, just use half of the packet, that should be fine. Then here we have um, one tablespoon of yeast, dried yeast. And then we have uh, one tablespoon of sugar and uh, one quarter of a teaspoon of salt. We'll be using a bowl of icing sugar and then also lukewarm water we'll be using as well. And then something to mix with. Okay, so let's move these things around a bit so I can get in there. Put the icing sugar, we'll be using that for later. Now what we're going to do first, we're just going to mix everything in. The salt, the sugar, and also the one tablespoon of yeast. So I put it all in like that. Just mix it in a little bit so it all mixes in evenly. Now we're going to add the water until it reaches the pancake consistency. Remember you're using lukewarm water. So just pour in like that. water we just mix it in if you have a whisk or if you have an electric mixer you can use it as well so we pour in more water mix it gently we don't want anything to come out of the bowl I should have really used a big bowl Then we pour water. Then I want this kind of consistency, like a pancake kind of consistency. Now what we're going to do now, we're just going to cover it and let the yeast do its magic and let it rise for like around uh, 40 to 60 minutes. Then we come back to it. Okay guys, so I've just moved everything closer to the cooker so we can start frying. As you can see, I left it for like 60 minutes for it to rise and everything. If you're not careful and if you have a small bowl, as you can see here, it can overflow. So make sure you have a big bowl or a big bucket so that with some space left over so that if it rises it doesn't overflow everywhere then what we do we just switch on the the cooker here if you have a deep fryer that will work well um, but otherwise if you have a pan frying pan uh, it has to be a deep a deep skillet or a frying pan or it can just be like a regular pan so we just fill that you can use any oil, sunflower, vegetable, any oil is fine. So that's taken like one bottle of oil. Because we don't want it too close to the bottom of the pan. So we just want it when it's um, hot enough, it just floats up, it doesn't stick to the bottom. So we'll let the oil heat up. Look, as you can see. It's more thicker and it's more because if you remember when we put it in it was quite uh, like pancake consistency but now the yeast has done its job so it's nice and fluffy and also sticky so that's what we want 
now what you need to do is just try and defluff it I mean so the bubbles they escape and now let's test it to see if the oil is hot enough you just take one spoon I think the oil is okay. I remember in the streets in Juba, the ladies, what they'll do, they'll use their hands instead of the spoon and then put it in. But since I'm not a professional like them, I'll just be sticking to the spoon. <laughs> okay. And also I put it on medium heat because you want it to cook inside before it gets light brown quickly so just like that Okay, so I'll switch it off. Okay, so this is how it looks. And we just put the icing sugar and another extra plate so that um, we once we've uh, covered it with the sugar we put them in now this is where you will either be a sprinkler or a dunker and as you can see I'm a dunker I like uh, covering it all with icing sugar some people just like to sieve the icing sugar on top and then uh, have it that way um, now I'm going to bite into one so that I can show you what it looks like inside so as you can see this is how it looks like you don't want it too thick because then it will end up being like mandazi so you just want um, a bit dense as you can see here we still have some bubbles some holes so there you have it legamat enjoy Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed cooking uh, Legimad with us today. Also, please don't forget to comment, to subscribe, and also tell a friend about this show. And then also, what I'd like you to do, if you've cooked using any of our recipes, please take a picture and send it to us, or just post it on our Facebook page, and uh, so that we can see what others are cooking as well, and what you're having for dinner, what you're having for breakfast or for lunch, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Alright then, until next time, bye!